So guys, we have been talking about this for the past couple of months. Hardware 5 is on the horizon and it's just a matter of time before we start seeing it in newer vehicles. Now, Hardware 5 isn't just an incremental update as we have previously seen in older designs. Hardware 5 is going to be one of the most substantial changes ever since the departure from Mobileye. This is not simply just bringing additional compute power, it's also bringing additional sensors as well as newer placements, all making it possible for real full self-driving. In addition to that, these new sensors are likely going to be the one that are going into the RoboTaxi launch during August the 8th and are likely the end game for full self-driving and autonomy when it comes to their vision system sensor suites. As of right now, we have officially gotten confirmation from Elon himself that Hardware 5 design is now complete and they are moving on to the production stages. In regards to Hardware 5, this is going to be one of the most critical changes Tesla has ever done to the entire full self-driving hardware lineup, not only are we going to be seeing an additional 10x power from Hardware 4, but we are also going to be seeing the entire envelope change and being so, they have also changed the name. With all the recent movements of artificial intelligence, it would make a lot of sense for Tesla to call it something in the lines of AI and that is exactly what they did. They moved from Hardware 5 over to AI and AI 5 is what it's going to be called. Now, to briefly cover all the highlights of this chip, it will be packed full of capabilities and features that Hardware 4 is unable to do. So this is going to be one of the most massive upgrades as I've said and this is going to include so many new things. So looking back at the recent shareholders meeting, Elon has confirmed that Hardware 4 is approximately 8 to 10 times more powerful than Hardware 3. Although it doesn't bring any new physical features and upgrades, it is just computationally more powerful. And in terms of compute power, again, Elon has confirmed that Hardware 3 is more than powerful enough to run all the latest software updates, especially full self-driving, so that means that it will be some time before they take the full advantage of Hardware 4 chips, and this is where we are years away from the benefits of Hardware 5. However, with that being said, I have dissected all the information from Hardware 4 and have gathered that this was just a stepping stone of a chip and should have never existed from the beginning, and I do believe that Tesla thinks the same way. So if you want to know more about that and every little detail I have to share, definitely go check out my previous video. I'll link that in the description below and up top there. So now, jumping on to Hardware 5, this is where we're going to see the majority of the changes is happening. First off, there will be a massive upgrade on the full self-driving chip, outperforming Hardware 4 by a factor of 10, meaning that this is approximately 20 to 30 times faster than Hardware 3. And considering that Tesla hasn't fully transitioned away from Hardware 3 yet, you can tell how far they are ahead of the game in terms of hardware upgrades. This is all preparing for the full self-driving iterations that will come out and will take advantage of all the power needed. Now, what's going to make Hardware 5 the biggest upgrade ever since the departure of mobile eye is the additional sensors that are going to be coming with this hardware suite these are not just going to be upgraded cameras as we've seen from hardware 3 to hardware 4 but there will now be newer sensors newer cameras and even more of them all around the entire vehicle so the front bumper camera is definitely going to be there then we'll have the bumper side traffic cameras for all those cross traffic that are struggling with right now with the full self-driving stack. At the bare minimum, you're going to see at least five new camera placements all around the vehicle in addition to the ones already existing. This is going to make it one really amazing visualization on the display when it's able to see things so far away. In addition to that, we are very likely going to be seeing the return of the radar. This has been documented a few years back by Elon saying that only very high High definition radar is going to be relevant and it seems that the new Phoenix radar that has been running in the Model S's and X's in shadow mode are going to be coming to the rest of the lineup. Now that's not all. With Hardware 5, there are going to be some very exclusive technologies coming to all these newer cameras and sensors. These are going to be the new hybrid system that I have discussed in previous video. This is going to resolve a lot of the issues with water droplet, glare, and a bunch of other things that you are seeing on the display as error messages. These are all going to be corrected using this technology. If you want to know more about that, I have a video specifically 
specific all on the cameras definitely go check it out hardware 5 is going to be an amazing upgrade i'll drop that link in the description below up top there and in the pinned comments to make sure that you guys don't miss out this is going to be a very big upgrade and you really need to know what's coming up now from what it seems tesla is always two steps ahead of the game when it comes to hardware they want to ensure that once the software is mature that there is enough compute power to process all the tasks it needs for full self-driving hardware 5 is not just going to be unlocking the feature completes of full self-driving it will be the very first suite that is going to be allowing the fully autonomous full self-driving features the chip that you're going to be getting in the upcoming models are going to be the exact same chips that is going to be powering the robo taxi service to sum it all up it will ultimately be the end game chip for autonomy and it will be the very first tesla full self-driving chip that is not going to be the bottleneck for all of its future software with the robo taxi launch just about a month away there is no doubt that tesla is preparing to showcase these new sensor suite once the car gets announced there is no doubt that that investors and customers are going to be keeping an eye on all the little details of this car things that Elon and the team may not be mentioning things like the camera additional sensors and redundancies things that will ensure trust from the public whether they will be using the service or not is depending on whether they feel safe enough to get inside if there is enough redundancies if there is enough to protect them in case of a crash these are things that are going to be focused on during this event and there is no doubt that Tesla is going Going to be releasing a robo cab or a robo taxi service without showcasing all of these new things this is a make it or break it moment for tesla on august the 8th i can assure you that they are not going to release anything less than hardware 5 on these vehicles now in more recent news we have just gotten more information on hardware 5 and the progress of these chips and manufacturing according to elon in a response to the data center at the back of giga texas it will be consisting mainly of nvidia chips hardware 4 and dojo but they will be slowly transitioning over to hardware 5 so around the second half of next year they will be moving over to hardware 5 training and that means that they are going to be releasing vehicles with these chips on board and most likely hardware 5 is going to be on the robo taxi as well as newer vehicles such as the juniper model y this would also mean that the approximate timeline of 18 months moving into 2026 is now shifted back and ahead of schedule meaning that we will likely be seeing these chips in production vehicles by mid or late next year so yeah my best recommendation for those of you that are waiting for a car that practically has it all without any bottlenecks this is going to be just a few more months or about just one more month before we see these new set of sensors inside of the robo taxi and then we'll eventually hear a ton more about it in the rest of the lineup so i definitely recommend holding out for now just to see where we're at and what kind of things that tesla will be announcing on stage with this new chip hardware 5 or should i call it ai5 is going to be the exact same chip running in the robo taxi which is going to be entirely autonomous that exact chip is going to be in your car and that is the one where you'll be able to sit back relax and let the car do all the driving anyways lots of good stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks and i will definitely Definitely be keeping you guys as updated as possible on everything that comes out so definitely stick around and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so and follow me on twitter at hey john e over there you guys can chat with me dm with me and i will try to respond as quickly as possible anyways this should be it this is john once again peace out